We are the Well Done Podcast. I'm Moises L, longtime member of Capcom Unity since 2008. Hey, this is Conti. I kind of taught surfbots how to stay, cook steaks. Um, this is Kendall, and I heal people. <laughs> All right. So we are, you know, the, generally the Well Done Podcast group. But today we have a very special guest with us. Why don't you uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about, you know, how you pretty much found Capcom Unity and whatnot. Uh, my name is also 808. I joined back in 20K10, and I found Capcom Unity after I got bored playing with randoms on Try. That's pretty much how I found it. That's... That's good, actually. That's how most people actually find it. I mean, they, they get bored of people, you know, typing in, like, two words. You know, a small amount of words, and that's about it. That's all they would say during quests and whatnot. But, yeah. Just to do a little recap, guys. We are a podcast group, uh, you know, who pretty much just stays on Capcom community. And, you know, we get members from Capcom community who are active. And, you know, we have them join us, and we play and talk about them. You know, stuff with them. We're pretty Yay. much just trying to get them to, you know, talk talk to you guys and pretty much, you know, get a better idea of who they are. You know, that way we all don't feel like strangers around each other while on the forums and so on and so on. So, We're like a family. Yeah, but you know, not 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 really. <laughs> not really. But kinda. We're, We're a hunting family. Yeah, we we are the family who, when we fell vine bomb, went with each other. It's okay, you know. We we forgive it, right, Kendall? <laughs> yeah, right, Conti. Uh, uh. He doesn't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, also, why why don't you tell us about you know your 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 username? Like, how did you even come up with that, or is it you know mean anything or what? I have no idea what it means, but somebody gave it to me. I don't know, God knows when. <laughs> it is the area code for Hawaii, so... Yeah. So Got you that. were like the chosen one of that name. <laughs> That's awesome. I like it. Well, we'll stick to calling you 808 because I actually mispronounce your name all the time. Um, <laughs> I actually used to think that his name was pronounced Aso and Asao, so... <laughs> It's actually also, but uh, yeah, we're, I'm, I'm just gonna call him 808 because uh, I, my, my memory is terrible, and I'm really sorry. Uh, a lot of people mispronounce my name. Oh yeah, it's okay. Like some some people call me like Moises and Mo Moisel, you know, like they just yeah. completely ignore the other <laughs> S for some odd, for some odd reason. Yeah, <laughs> so. I think way back when I first met Snow, he actually just called me Moist Isley, or at least that, that that's what my name was based about, which I still, to this very day, have no idea who that really is. Yeah. I think it was like <laughs> some movie or something, or a singer or something, I don't know. But, yeah. So, how do you feel about us going a little bit, you know, to a more personal depth with, you know, with what you do in real life. Is that alright, or...? I absolutely hate it. No, I'm just joking. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just making sure. So, I, I mean, what do you what do, you do, dude? I mean, how, how, do you, uh, how do you get by, if you don't mind us asking? I DJ. Oh. So, he's a DJ. He, he actually mixes music, and you, you perform at clubs and whatnot, right? Yes, sir. Nice. So, the question now is, where is all the Monster Remixes at? <laughs> right? Maybe after all my all these events and my schedule clears up, maybe uh, mm, give it a few months. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, all right. Well, uh, we'll give that a few months. Then. I he, can wait as long as he does it. He's, he's BSing. It's a secret project he's currently working on. You know what? I oh. will not be surprised. <laughs> he's making an album. Yeah. <laughs> Cross your fingers, everybody. He's calling it the Monster Hunter Dubstep. Something something. 808. <laughs> um, yes, I spend dubstep. Nice. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Um, speaking of, like, remixes and Monster Hunter related music, have you ever heard Monster Hunter Danceable? No. No? Okay, so it's like a... I think it was actually made by, you know... Or no, it was sponsored by, you know, Capcom and whatnot in Japan, and they actually made, like, their own remixes for Monster Hunter stuff. And a lot of it's really nice. I mean, you, you can just search it up on YouTube. <clears throat> we'll, we'll provide, like, a link, because I know someone uploaded quite a few songs, and we'll provide a link to, you know, how people the can listen. The link is below! That. Pretty much. Below, 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 below. But, uh, yeah, we should probably do some quests. <laughs> Let's go! Because I'm sure everyone else would rather, you know, see us kind of do that. And for those listening, well, you know, y you can hear us yell and cry whenever, you know, we're getting hit by whatever monster. So, <clears throat> what did you post, Conti? Oh, I posted uh, the Phantom Dragon. It's uh, one of the event quests up right now. Oh. Ah. Little baby Dragon. The little one. All right. So why don't we talk about our uh, armor sets that we're currently using and why we're using them? If anyone actually remembers what they're using, you should go ahead and uh, probably say something because I, I kind of don't really remember <laughs> my exact set. Well, I'm wearing the low rank Sadius set, the Celine male, and then um, yeah, it's terrific in low rank. You know, got all that low defense and stuff. But uh, it also has a sharpness plus one blunt edge to counter that, sadly. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that blunt edge. It's got here protect, um, let's see. Yeah, high grade earplugs, actually. And uh, I have half stun because that's on my uh, charm. That's, uh, I don't know, I always find that to be a really handy skill, so. Actually, so I've actually had that gem since like the beginning of the game. Are you, are you, like, looking forward to actually, like, improving that and getting that plus? Oh, definitely. Know, yeah. Yeah, it's actually the next set I'm going to be working on. Are you, like, waiting for the uh, Gem Moran plus event? Just yeah. like, oh, how we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Scale pluses. That's about oh, man. About that, it. that thing always, like, evades us somehow. I know. We did them, like, three times that one day, and, yeah, didn't get much. Yeah. He's hiding in the sands. One day. <laughs> so, 808 ASO or ASO. Sorry, see, like I'm already mispronouncing. It. <laughs> um, you're gunning on this quest, and I we normally don't get too many people who use bow guns. Um, I have no idea where you're at, but I, if I remember right, you're using a mixture of the Alatrian armor and I believe like one piece of the Devil Joe armor. Yeah. So, wh why is it that you mix the pieces? Um, you can get different, like, I don't know how to explain it very well, I'm not very good at that, but you would get more skills with different types of armors, well, single pieces of armors rather than no, man. having a whole skill, I mean, a whole set of armor. So, playing mix and match, practically, uh... Pretty much grants you, you know, the possibility of having more skills. And you can pretty much customize it to your liking. Uh, man, this guy's really little. I forgot how small he was. <laughs> Ooh, what a hit. So, what, what skills do you actually have on that thing right now? I mean, if I remember right, you had like a wall of skills. I have, uh, Evasion up, oh, nice. Evasion plus one, oh. uh, <clears throat> bonus shot, Slight proof, and, oh, Blight proof, and Dragon resist plus ten. So that sounds pretty good. Did you actually come up with that set, or was that, like, a set that you saw around somewhere, like, on the forums, and, you know? Uh, I made this set. Nice. nice. I made it for Joe. Oh yeah, the dragon resistance and so on. 
God, I'm so Plus sorry. Plus one for creativity. Yeah. Oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, this guy's really little. Um, my set isn't anything special whatsoever. In fact, I, I don't even wear this, you know, for you any sort of skill benefits. Since it's for arm wrestling. I do it for arm wrestling. I mean, look at those arms. Holy. Like, those things can, like, rip phone books in half. <laughs> But uh, them girl arms. arms. You have girl arms. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I purposely put like a, a negative skill on here. That way, when like I upswing people, you know, I, I use that as my excuse. Or at least you guys, I put near sight on. So it's like you know, I'm gonna go upswing my friends and be like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I have near sight on. That's why I keep upswinging. <laughs> so I didn't see oh, you there, oh, friend. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, honestly, that, that's yeah. That's a knee slapper. That is. Well, I guess I'm last. Yeah, this this set, you know, I get you guys see around all the time. It's just Kurepeku Plus. Yeah, yeah. Except, you know, with wide range plus two, defense up, medium, and recovery up. You know? So, how often do you actually heal us, Kendall? <laughs> you know what, when I, when I need to. <laughs> we need to think, but I don't remember you healing anyone ever. <laughs> If I remember right, it was like always Kanti who was like playing, you know, healer. Well, you know what? I'm healer this time. Alright, man. You Sorry. guys aren't in my range of, you know. Uh huh. Healing. <laughs> One thing Shut I really like about this quest was pretty easy. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, that chin! The break it actually? Little baby chin. Yeah. Nice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Knocked all three of us back. The range is so disorienting. Yeah. Oh, oh man, I saw you are like a good like five feet away from him yet it's still man. Get this guy! Oh! Yeah! Uh, uh, I got him with the throwing poison. knives. <laughs> poison! Look at them bubbles, they're bigger than him. <laughs> so, what, what's Ergon's weakness? It's it's water, right? Water. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what? Uh, I chose, poison's chose quite water. effective against him, though, as well. Yeah, doesn't it last like a, a minute, practically? Well, something yeah. like that. I know it's most effective on Diablos, isn't it? But Uragan gets poisoned really quick. Yeah. You know what switch X attack I never use is the one where you just like crazily swing all over the place. Oh yeah. Why don't you demonstrate it? You should you should do it. Alright. Alright. Oh boy. This one right here. I never really use this. Just because it consumes stamina and you know it doesn't really down. use that much damage compared yeah, to the other attacks. Pretty, nice. pretty mediocre damage. Yeah. It looks cool though, I mean it's like oh, yeah. one of my favorite looking attacks just because, you know. The guys animation. Like and slashing. Yeah. Guys, let's get this little tail right here. Just like, pick this thing up and like, hog it. Right. Like, let's carve any of it. That tail's mine. <laughs> I bet that thing still weighs like, three times. Right? It weighs as much as a powder stone. Oh gosh. <laughs> no. Get him in the you lava! So slow. Man, you know all the monsters can't swim in lava. Come on now. Devil Joe drinks lava. <laughs> I've seen it. Does he? No. <laughs> Good job, guys. And then a Devil Joe comes out and eats the Gurgurin! Oh no! <laughs> Takes him into the lava. <laughs> That'll be a sight to see. Man, my feet are like crispin. Yeah, man. The monster, you know, it's all good. I can't take the heat. I can't take the heat. So, Asso, um, how long have we been playing Monster, dude? Since late '04, early '05. So you've been playing since like the first Monster. Very first one. Oh, nice. 
How do you think uh, Try has held up towards you know all the improvements and whatnot? Um, as the most improvements, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> it's a shame that most of the classics never made it. Yeah, but overall, it's good.